What's up? How's quarantine going? Oh, it's going good. We're making a quarantine beef right now. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have some cabbage with it and potatoes. Very uh, Irish inspired. Why? Yeah. For uh, St. Patty's Day. Oh, right. It was yesterday, but we're celebrating today because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you know, I mean, somewhere in the world it's St. Patty's Day right now. That's how it works. <laughs> it's, it's, don't trust me. Yeah. But we're not making it in here. We're making it in Maggie's farmhouse. You're making it. I'm actually not making it. Yeah. <coughs> I, I'm the chef today. I spent the day cleaning the van. <coughs> mm -hmm. Which it doesn't even look clean. But you should have seen it before. It does look clean. It's not bad. Well, yeah. Compared to how messy it was. For sure. It wasn't even put together at all. Did you show them the cabinet? I don't think you can really tell, but this cabinet was... Show them that one. That's what it looked like before. <laughs> this is the after. This is the before. You can't really tell. You can see black You can see, like, blackness oh, on yeah, it. Oh, yeah, there it is at the top, for sure. Now, like, they're like, sparkling white. Yeah. Like, they haven't been this clean since before they went into the dumpster that I pulled them out of. Yeah, I'm finally getting the chance to clean Slab City off the van. That's what I'd say about Two that. Two weeks later. Well, we weren't here for a week. Right. And we were house-sitting for the week before. Oh, no. Yeah, it's not like you're being a slacker or something. It's just, like, we were not able to. We yeah. haven't been in the van in pretty much two weeks. Yeah. We've been in the transit, which is tight quarters. And, uh, <laughs> in case anyone was wondering. Yeah. And it's really not small. as luxurious as the bread truck. But it works for small excursions. I mean, that was a big excursion. That was many, thousands of miles. Right? Yeah, at least 2,000 miles. Yeah. And, I mean, that's pretty much driving across the country. Mm -hmm. From Orlando to Sedona was like 2,300 miles. So, we drove across the country, equivalent. In the transit. In the transit. In yeah. a week. Yeah. <laughs> we're so nutty yep. but that's why we have the transit because that would have been a major haul in the bread truck oh yeah i mean and expensive even if, yeah it would have been twice about the amount of money it would we would have gone much slower we would have been spent way more time on the road because we'd be doing 60 instead of 80 and um it would have been unnecessary because the whole time we didn't stay in we stayed in the van one night no, two nights, wasn't it? One. Really? On the way to Sedona, we stayed in it. Uh-huh. And that was it? And then that was it. Then we stayed in the house in Sedona, and then we stayed in the boat in Ventura, and then we came back up here. Yeah. That's not bad. So really, we just used the transit for... It was like staying in the transit when we were in the boat. It was pretty <laughs> close. It was actually more like the bread truck, you know? That's about the size yeah. that it was, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The bread truck on the water. But guess what? Now I want a boat. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> and I keep shopping for them on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, really? Yeah. This is the first that I'm hearing about this. No. I've told, I, I talked about it a little bit while I was looking. I mean, I knew you were like, I want a boat. But yeah, I didn't you know. said, uh, so doesn't you want seem very practical to have a boat. We can just come to Reagan's boat. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's, I stand by that. I don't. I think the way she does it is awesome. You know? Van half the time, other half the time, sailboat. Uh, I think that's pretty freaking amazing. You know? Yeah. I think it's, I think it's doable. I mean, she. it's pretty expensive the way uh, she's doing it, but it's definitely a goal of mine to have a boat. Yeah, but in the meantime... We have a really great friend who has a boat who says, come here anytime. <coughs> whether Word. whether uh, or not she's there. When there's less infection, I guess we could do that in the future. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. And. But it's still, you know. It'd be definitely I nice to it, take some, uh, to do some sailing with her and learn. learn a little bit about sailing. Yeah. Not that she knows what she's doing because she admittedly herself does not. But she's figuring it out. 
Yeah. Learning it as she goes. Yeah. Let's see how you feel when you know that there's like a mile of sharks beneath you. I don't know that. I just don't go in there. What, I mean, I've been on the, a jet hey. ski on the open sea, you know, where there was sharks and I saw them and, you know, I just don't go in there. It, it is, you I mean, it's, it's life and death. Purpose. It, it is life and death um, type of scenario. It's pretty You hardcore. mess up and you die. And I realize that, but I think also there's really something to it, you know? You don't have to go way out there, you know? You can just make runs up and down the coast. I guess it would be more like this way, up and down the coast. <laughs> um, is that vertical? Yes. Horizontal, <laughs> vertical. <laughs> which is longitude and which is latitude? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. So you're gonna make a great yeah. sailor. <laughs> I, I need to learn port and star and starboard, uh, starboard, and uh, longitude and latitude. That's Those it. Are then you're the ready. Basics, yeah. <laughs> I I've been shopping hardcore on eBay for a Weems and Plath brass oil lamp on a uh, you just want to decorate a sailboat <laughs> <laughs> maybe i was looking at portholes today um but no i'm really interested in boat stuff for van life though you know so the the lantern would actually be for the truck and the porthole singing maybe for that vent that's behind me you know what if my little cubby hole had a portal like that's pretty it's pretty, I'm the most, of course. So he's talking about up there in that cabin. Yeah, hole. this is my little... Behind it, there's a vent that goes to the outside. So he's saying to put make that a window, make that a port. Yeah, portal. so I'd actually be able to open it up and see um, outside or let air in or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, We're going to but... run out of uh, wall space. We already kind of did, actually. Well... Where's the lantern going to go? The lantern... I was thinking in the middle of the dining room, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, those, or... those, those are not going to stay there. Yeah, the bread boxes are. That's just those are just storage. holding. And uh, the so a lamp right up, up above the table. Yeah, but like m maybe in the middle of the wall. I don't know. You want it to be a good level to light the truck. But so it would reflect low. nicely off the ceiling if it was pretty high. Mm -hmm. It could go all the way up too. But the nice thing about those lamps is that they uh, have a drying effect. They dry the air in the van, so if there's wet conditions. And they heat the van a little bit, too. So it's not much, but it will raise the temperature in here a few degrees. And that's nice when it's freezing cold outside. So, okay. And they burn for like 30 hours on one thing of oil. Wick. It's only... No, the wick lasts for way longer than that. Oh, okay. Just on um, that little For tank one oil. fill, yeah, it's five ounces in there. It'll burn for 30 hours, and they're windproof, too. They're just cool all around. I really want one. The coolest thing about it is that they have a gimbal. Yeah. Which in here is not that important, because... But it's really cool. It is cool. Super cool. It'll hang, you know, correctly, no matter what level the truck is at it'll hang and, upright even if the truck is going like this yeah i could totally safely have it lit while driving there's no reason to do that but yeah i don't know if i had a passenger back here or something <laughs> but just getting romantic back here <laughs> yeah just while like, you're driving down the road for sure you never know what happens in the bread truck nothing really romantic about this beast rolling down the road <laughs> this beast <laughs> this truck oh I don't know. I don't know. I beg to differ. <laughs> this is like a fairy tale, really. Polly's treehouse. Yeah, it's like a, it's my fort, my uh, Lost Boys fort. Yep. Except. Mm -hmm. Except there's an Ellie. Well, you're one of the boys. <laughs> the Lost Boys. The Were there girls boys. in the boys club? I have no idea. Man, no, there was Rufio. Yeah, he was. Uh, oh, what was the other guy's name? With the one that could roll up into a ball and bowl himself at people. We at ten minutes yet? Wait, this is gonna be like a full on episode. Like we'll just no cuts. Upload this. Is, this this is us during isolation. We're in quarantine right now, on a private farm in an undisclosed location. 
very safe and separate from the uh, from the world out there. We have tons. We have twenty five pounds of rice, fifty pounds of beans. I think. Mm hmm. Um, a huge stack of firewood. Yeah. We have solar. Yeah. We have what else? We have solar generators. We have gardens. Yeah, a creek. Uh, yeah, and a, right down the road, a natural sp- drinking spring. <coughs> yeah. What else do we need? We got food, water. Off-grid power. power. Internet. Heat. We won't have internet if that grid goes down for oh, no, some no. reason. But we have other than that, we're totally fine. And we've got friends. Yeah. And... Generator I have, just for backup, backup. And Maggie has a big Maggie generator. Maggie has a generator as well. We don't have gas for those, though. Um, gas wasn't that we really, know. you know, we could always go to the store and get gas within 10 minutes. No, 20 minutes. If the store has gas. The stores do have gas. Oh, but actually down, point. right down the street, one of Maggie's really good friend makes biodiesel. Yeah. We have access to the bread truck can run on biodiesel or just veggie oil. It doesn't even have to be biodiesel. It can just run on yeah. veggie oil. And he makes it. He has like a whole production Yep, he runs all his vehicles on it. Yeah, he has a good amount over there, so... And actually, right here, boom, look at this truck. That's one of my See what it right says. there, boom. See what it says on the front right there? Powered, Powered by, by veggie, veggie oil. oil. Yep. Rain collection systems already in place. What else I feel pretty you... set up. Yeah, you know? an entire library full of books. Yeah. Some of them are right there. No. <laughs> Not that library. We have, we're starting to grow a bread truck library. And we have tons of puzzles. Mm-hmm. Lots of puzzles. Yeah. And there's a drawer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's a drawer. We can go to outer space anytime we want. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. How does this hat look? It looks awesome. Are you sure? I'm sure. What do you guys think? Comment below. You look very gnomey. I look very gnomey. Yeah, with the beard and the, the hat mm, and the hat kind I of bet, matches. I bet. <laughs> I, if I, I have no concept of what I look like right now, really. i got to think about it. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's the gnome. Yeah. Cool. I was just kind of imagining myself without a beard, like I didn't have the beard. Oh, uh, weird. Yeah, before I wonder you if said you, that. When you dream, if you see yourself in a dream, if you do, I dream, beard. do, do you... I dream in beard? <laughs> yeah, that's the question. <laughs> I was getting there. You just said so my punchline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You're the master of dad jokes and ruining punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about ruining them, but maybe swooping and stealing. Um, that's ruining. Yeah. I, I do dream in full beard. And, um,. <laughs> Yeah, in a minute we're going to have to go in and check on the uh, quarantine beef. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay, thanks for sharing. Yeah, um, what time are we at? 13.40. Oh, <laughs> shit. Bye! So Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.